Onwin Tut, a Burmese rice farmer, is at the advanced stages of AIDS. He sleeps with families and children in a shelter outside Rangoon. Without antiretroviral treatment, or ART, he will get progressively weaker and more vulnerable to infection until he dies. Many who arrive at Burmese clinics in search of ART are put in a queue, but most won't live long enough to reach the front. Ai Ai was rejected by her family when she became ill. She now has no money, is too weak to work, and has no home. Tiha Chang is one of Burma's most outspoken HIV patients. After contracting the virus, he started the Phoenix Association, a group of shelters run by AIDS patients. Because of ERT, now I'm healthy. I can do a lot of things. I can have a, a lot of people. If people receive ERT early, then they become healthy. When they come for ERT treatment, they have nowhere to stay, so we provide them to stay here. In 2011, uh, we helped 201 patients at these uh, hospitals. 67 patients died. That means uh, nearly 25% because of this uh, late treatment. Medicine Sans Frontières is on the front line of the struggle against HIV and tuberculosis in Burma. At clinics in Rangoon, they take blood samples for HIV and CD4 measurements, which show the strength of a person's immune system. A large shortfall in funding means doctors at MSF, who are faced with overwhelming numbers of people in need of ART, are now having to turn many people away. For a doctor, it's, it's, uh, it's a horrible situation. Um, I mean, my, my team, my, my Myanmar colleagues seeing patients on a daily basis are watching people literally get sicker before they can start to treat them. It's, it's not a choice that we, we want to make, it's a situation we're forced into because of the lack of resources. <laughs> 